Next question is from Rosie Rain. Okay. It says, I'm 23 years old. I am about to start my first job in my career field. What are the first things you recommend someone do when starting a job to set them up for success financially? So one, first off, congratulations for starting out and being excited about making wise decisions early on. It's amazing to us how many folks who say, oh, you know what? I'm 23 years old. I've got the rest of my life. I've got nothing but time. I'll start taking this seriously when I turn 30 or when I turn 40. That is not what you said. Rosie was the name, right? Yes. That's not what Rosie said. Rosie said, hey, I'm 23. What are the things that I can do now? And I think the very first thing is you have to understand that there are three ingredients to wealth creation. There is discipline, there is money, and there is time. Well, at 23 years old, you've already got one check. You have time. You just can't let it work against you. You have to start letting it work for you. So then the other one that you have to control is the discipline. How can I, right now at 23, begin on begin living on less than I make, deferring some part of today for a great, big, beautiful tomorrow? And the beautiful thing is, Rosie, it does not take a ton. It does not take a whole lot at 23. And you've likely just come out of this season of life where you were in college or maybe you're just now leaving the house and you're not with parents anymore you have mastered probably living at a certain standard of living. If you can start in your career, start making like real adult money, but maintain the lifestyle that you had prior to that, and you can max out your Roth IRA, and you can max out your employer match, and you can build up your emergency fund, you can do those sorts of things, your 28, 30, 35, 40-year-old self will thank you, and you'll wake up when they say, man, how, how did I get here? This wasn't that hard simply because I started making those decisions early on at age 23. Rosie, um, Bo, hold up your koozie there. Hey! So for, for a 20 to 21 year old, just because we want to make it legal, um, <laughs> that every dollar has a potential to become $88. Mm-hmm. Rosie, you're 23 years old. I looked it up for you so you don't have to, but I would encourage you at some point, go to moneyguy.com slash resources, play around with our wealth multiplier tool, but $1 has the potential to become $58. It's insane. Now, but I want to give context because you hear that. You're like, a dollar has the potential to become almost $60. Um, that's pretty powerful because that means every little thing I do is going to have a dramatic big impact. Look at me. Every dollar I have is soon to be, let me look, look on my little cheat sheet, $2.62. Mm. Very different. So, yeah, I, I, I am at a different season of life. Rosie, this is the time for you to actually maximize. Use that discipline, that that behavior. Avoid the debt and all the the traps of consumption that the, that all these agencies and the general public is going to push your way. Fight against that. Swim upstream for just a little bit of time, and I'm telling you, it is going to you get the rewards of living a life beyond your biggest and wildest imagination. That's, that's the great, big, beautiful tomorrow. And we've tried to give you everything in your in, that we could possibly do by coming up with the financial order of operations. I poured my heart and soul into actually sharing my own journey and millionaire mission. And it, Rosie, if you haven't done it, I'd love for you to go consider you know getting millionaire mission because it really is going to be the instruction manual that maximizes all of the opportunities so that you kind of, you look back and you go, man, this one conversation, this one question into the Money Guy show is going to change my life. And that's 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 what I love, those small decisions. It really does stack on top of that. I'm, I'm just going to add three things on there. You didn't so much ask for a career advice, but I'm going to give you career advice anyways, because I think it's valuable. Uh, one, even at 23, commit to being a lifetime learner. You are going to likely learn more in the first few years of working than you've learned In all of your education prior, depending on what field that you go into, make sure you don't stop that. So make sure you're continually trying to figure out how can I learn more, do more, become better at this thing that I'm doing. And then number two is figure out how to make yourself peacock. What is unique about you that will stand out relative to your peers and colleagues? Because if you can do that and hone in on that, whether you're working in small business or you're working in corporate America, it's going to allow you to put yourself in a position to likely move more quickly than you would otherwise if you can figure out how to stand out. And standing out may be as simple as 
taking on tasks that you're not required to take on, figuring out how you can lean into places and pieces of work that maybe not were not given to you, but you find a way to insert yourself in places that are valuable for your employer, for the organization that you work with. And then the third thing is build relationships. Figure out how you can connect with other people in your field, other people in your industry, other people in your stage of life, because you'll never know how valuable those relationships you build in your early 20s will be when you get to your 30s, 40s, and 50s. I mean, we've seen this. How many times do we meet someone? Oh, this is someone I knew when I worked at the first accounting firm. Or, oh, this is someone I went to school with. Or this is, it's amazing how far reaching those relationships can be, but you have to be willing to pour into them now at this stage of life because they're going to be much easier to make now than they will 10, 15, 20 years in the future. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with all that. Do what others want at your age. I mean, that's one of the things I think about is that, you know, when you're 20s, you can put up with anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you come from, I know it, it, I felt like when I graduated college, I could make $20, do, my, do a ton because I just didn't, I didn't know what nice was. I didn't have high expectations. So I was able to put up with a lot, and I was able to make sure that I, I used that to prioritize every dollar maximizing its opportunity. Don't be a miser. I want you to bedazzle your basic life. Enjoy every decade, because the 20s is going to have a special sweetness. Your 30s is going to have a sweetness. But just be understanding that you have a huge opportunity with the value of your time. So don't waste that moment and that chance. And don't get spaghetti on Mom's spaghetti. You Remember? nailed it. Uh, you, that lyric was so, so, so perfectly good. delivered. Oh, it was so good. Yeah. I was this like, is, this where is, is he uh, going with this? That uh, was so uh, good. And then spaghetti. Don't waste that spaghetti. Hmm. Well, Brian I was you know, it, 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 like that one shot, you know, one opportunity. <laughs> oh, no, okay. no, no, no. We know the song. We know. We know. Okay.